Hey Techno Studs, we still heavily rely on IP version 4. A lot of our networks, a lot of our applications, and a lot of what we have rely on the use of IP version 4. But we really need to make the switch to IP version 6. So how do we straddle the between IP version 4 and IP version 6? And how do we make a transition, a smooth transition, without just stopping our networks from operating correctly? Well, one of the answers is NAT64. So let's get into NAT64 and talk a little bit about what it's about. The first thing that I want to stress is that IP version 6 really shouldn't need network address translation, at least not from the standpoint of converting a IP version 6 local address to an IP version 6 global address. IP version 6 was created from the ground up, and one of the things that was established was a huge address space that we wouldn't need private addresses in the future. So I guess that's a little untrue because we do have this unique local addresses. The unique local address acts similar to a private address of IP version 4 range. That is, it is local to the company. So it shouldn't, should, it should uh, exist so that way within the company, communication can happen back and forth. But that's never meant to be translated to the outside world. The what goes to the outside world is these global unique addresses. But every machine on your network that wants to communicate to the internet, wants to connect, communicate globally, should get this assigned to it directly or should create it directly on that machine. So the unique local address is unique to that but never gets translated to a global unique address. So. There should never be a IP version 6 to IP version 6 network address translation for the purpose of communicating with the rest of the world. So what is NAT64? Well, NAT64 allows us to translate from IP version 4 to IP version 6 and back again. That way, what we can do is we can have segments of our network that operate as IP version 4 for facilitating older technologies, and then areas of the network that operate at IP version 6. So it helps in the translation as we move from an old setup of IP version 4 to IP version 6. So that's what NAT64 does, is that translation between IP version 4 and IP version 6.